Hi, and welcome to my classroom. My name is Christopher Youngren, and I'm a middle school ELA teacher in Tucson, Arizona. Well, we're about two months in now uh, to distance learning and virtual teaching. And uh, if you're anything like me, and if you're experiencing anything like what I'm experiencing, your kids are getting more and more what I like to call zombified every single day that passes. You know, I, I bring the energy in, and I keep it high, and I throw it out at them, and I say, hey guys, how you doing? Good to see you today. And I met with, uh, and I say, awesome, awesome, is everyone doing well today? Show me fist to five, fist to five. Five being best day ever, fist being worst day ever. How you doing? And, and, and they're just getting so tired, I think, of sitting in front of the screen and being sedentary all day long that it occurred to me today, hey, let's, let's throw some improv games into the mix. You know, I come from a, a long career uh, in theater uh, before I became a teacher, and, and, and I thought maybe if we start introducing some improv games into the mix as a way to not only kind of keep them off balance and wondering what's happening next, which also uh, keeps them paying attention and keeps them engaged, it gets them on their feet. It gets them moving a little bit. And the first one that we tried today actually worked really, really well. We were, I was about to give them a quiz today, and I said, look, you guys look like you're just glazed over. Let's, let's get the, the bodies moved up, and let's get the blood pumping and, uh, and, and ourselves moving just a little bit. Everybody on your feet. And we're going to play a game called Grandma's Footsteps. And if any of you are familiar with sharks and minnows, it's a very similar game. So one person gets to be grandma. And it was funny because uh, the first little girl this morning who volunteered to be grandma actually was a grandma last year for Halloween. So she she had a wig and everything. Uh, it makes me jealous a little bit, what can I say? But she, she had a gray wig and she put it on. And what they do is the grandma will turn around and everybody else will move as far back as they possibly can from the computer screen, right? And, uh, as, and a, as grandma's back is turned, everyone tries to very uh, stealthily sneak forward toward the computer. And the first person to get to the computer and type into the chat, gotcha, wins and becomes the next grandma. But of course, if grandma turns around and sees somebody, oh, Billy, I got you. Cindy, I got you. Logan, I got you. Then they're out. And, and you know, it just worked wonders. It worked wonders because it got them up and it got them laughing and it got them moving. And then by the time we moved into the quiz, you know, they were in a much better spirits. And, and I don't know if that means they did better on the quiz or not, but I'll tell you what, if you can keep the kids always guessing, uh, it's, it's going to keep them a lot more attentive and it's going to keep them a lot more engaged uh, because they're going to be like, what's going to happen next? You know, I want to go to ELA tomorrow because I want to, I want to see what's going to happen. You, you know, Mr. Wise always got something zany going on. So, so let's see what he's got in store tomorrow. And, and if you can be that kind of teacher that just try, uh, keeps the kids guessing and incorporates games like this, very simple game. You can spend five minutes on it. You can spend 10 minutes on it. Um, you can use it as a reward for good behavior and getting assignments done. If you can incorporate these things into your lesson plans uh, and, and your daily activities and just break up that monotony of staring into screens all day and glazing over and becoming zombies, um, you're going to have a really much more successful virtual experience overall. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you like what I have to say, check out this video. It's, it's another great one on uh, instant student engagement. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and I'll keep them coming. Uh, be well out there, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and take care of someone else. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.